Okay, so this is a UV sterilizer, and even though I don't actually expect anybody uh, helping us out to try to fix this, I am going to just explain what happened and the lengths that we had to go through, uh, just briefly, the lengths that we had to go through to get it fixed. So, um, uh, basically it was just, th this fitting cracked slightly, and it was dripping. And so we tried calling the manufacturer, and this is the day before Labor Day, so obviously they aren't there. And we tried calling the uh, tropical fish store, and they were there, and they would have liked to help, but they didn't have any parts, and they couldn't actually help us. So we went to the hardware store and tried to figure out, is there some way that we could jury rig, you know, buy, just buy a fitting that would allow us to convert down to the size of hose that we were using. And in the end, because of the depth of this uh, connection that I had to make, um, we decided to go with uh, using aquarium cement on the cracked piece and clamping it shut with a hose clamp. And of course, we go to put it all back together again, turn it on, and water is spraying out of the unfixed uh, connector. So we had to take it all back apart again. We decided we had some hose clamps. We re uh, repaired. We repaired the other uh, connector, and so we're now going to screw this back on. Hope that it's going to hold. We have no guarantees here, and put this back in line. So I've now screwed the fitting back into place, and I just want to do a quick go over of what I'm going to do. Uh, the way the components are connected together the output of the filter goes first into the UV and then into the heater. And right now the UV is not in line, so what I have to do is remove the connector from the heater and attach it to the UV, and then I'm going to use a short piece of tube to connect the UV to the heater uh, to bring it all in the line. So, first thing to do is to disconnect the tube from the heater, so there's a collar here, this red thing, and I need to unscrew that. Uh, this is actually kind of a little counterintuitive. It, it jams over the end of the tube and tightens it up. So I've just kind of backed it off so that it goes more towards the heater side. And now I'm just going to pull the tube off. And there it is. So, the next thing I need to do is to connect this to the input side of the UV, and that is, uh, that's this side, it's the side away from the power cord, and so this is just going to be, uh, in fact, what I'm going to do first, sorry, is all of these connections, I use a little bit of silicon spray that, that we keep with the fish tank onto the fitting so that the tubes will slide on and eventually slide off easily. So I've pushed it all the way on there and now this collar needs to be tightened down and so I just twist that. These things, it's a little hard to tell when you're done so you just kind of stop doing it after a little bit. It, it, I think you could it's a little too loose. In any event, um, that this is now the UV is now connected uh, back. So the next thing I'm going to do is attach this short length of tube. So this is the input to the UV. This is the output to the UV, which is near the power cord, and this is going to be the connector that's going to go to the heater. So again, I'm going to spray just a little bit of silicon and we're going to push this on and tighten this up and that's it. So the next thing we have to do is connect the UV over to the 
bottom of the heater. And actually, okay, it's hard. I'm going to actually put a little bit of silicon it's on that. It's hard to light this. And my silicon is gone, but I got it back again. And then just, sorry, bip, 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 bip. just a short spray. And I'm going to put the tube on. And screw the tightening collar back. And at this point, everything is reconnected. Um, the only tricky thing now is the heater wants to is supposed to be vertical, and so now we're going to have to spend some time struggling with that. But we're not going to bore you with that struggle. So 